Hello everyone and welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. I'm Eric, your host, and it's the new year, so you know I'm in my cabin far away from civilization while I craft the perfect tweet about the year behind us. We had a lot of fun on this show. We learned a lot of things over the last year. Oh! 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 But one of the things that I've never learned in all of my eight years of doing comment etiquette lessons is how to hate. I know how to dislike. I know how to disapprove. But I've never felt that white pumping surge of rage that is hate just going through your heart and up into your brain from your guts. And you might think I'm boasting, but I'm not. You see, I have a lot of students out there, a lot of students who count on me for internet etiquette lessons. And I can't understand my students if I don't understand what they're feeling. So I want to go out there, I want to learn how to feel hate, and I got a lot of examples lined up. You might be asking, oh, Eric, what, what's an example of hate to you? Well, probably something like this. Um, integration is trying to come in, they're trying to take over, they're trying to tell our kids that it's okay. I don't know about you guys, I personally don't want a caramel green kid. Oh, I got a comment for this guy. Hello, sir, I respectfully disagree with you. What, what the fuck am I doing? I'm not trying to give an etiquette lesson, I'm trying to learn how to fucking hate! <laughs> Well, if there's anything I know about people, it's that we all have a little bit of hate stored in our hearts. Let's see if I can find mine. We're gonna look at some videos and see if I hate them. Here's uh, this one, The Holocaust Hoax Exposed by Steven Anderson. Hey everybody, Steven Anderson here, co-producer of Marching Design. If oh wait, I remember this dude. He's from my lesson on how to stay happy. Yeah, hey, what's up Steven? What are you talking about now? So I just wanted to make a short video to address the Holocaust, which, you know, frankly, I don't believe that the official version of the Holocaust is true whatsoever. Uh-oh, that's gonna upset some people there, Steven. And no, I am not pro-Hitler or pro-Nazi or pro-National Socialist. Oh, don't be silly, Steven. No one's gonna think that. The Jews love numbers. I don't know about you, but I could see myself hating this. So if you really love Jews, instead of talking about this myth of six million people cremated at an impossible rate in an impossibly small number of ovens, why don't you worry about the real oven, which is the oven that God made, hell. I'm gonna show you how to hate a whole YouTube video. I hate this fucking video so much I had to throw my baby at the computer to turn it off. If I was God, I'd hit you with a lightning bolt that makes you Jewish just to watch you spend all your money on foreskin reconstructive surgery. Then again, you're probably this way because of the environment that you grew up in and not everyone who spews dumb shit is a bad person. I'm sure you're a loving guy who's kind to those around them just so long as they're not brown. And it's not right to hate you just because you say bad, very dumb things that make you look like an idiot to the rest of the world or at least the ones who stay the fuck away from your freak show of a congregation. I mean, if the internet didn't exist, I wouldn't even know who the fuck you are and I probably be better off, so whatever, I'm just gonna be like God and ignore you. Peace and post! <coughs> <coughs> oh! Oh, excuse me. That was weird. Okay. Well, I fired off a little bit of hate in the beginning there, as we can see. But for the most part, it seems like I was sympathizing with the guy. And I'm not trying to sympathize here, that's old Eric. I'm trying to hate shit. So let's take a look at some other people lost in their own hatred. Maybe I can take a couple clues from it and apply it to further comments. There's gotta be some easy examples of hate on here, and oh, there's one. And you wanna know why your little princess is pregnant and what went wrong? If you'd have took a belt to your princess a few years earlier and put some morals into her? All right, this guy definitely hates something. Let's see what other videos he's got. Okay, you know what, this guy's cool. I'm, I'm not gonna mess with him. Let's uh, go, <coughs> next video. Obama scars on head slash neck, fake black president. Look at all these scars, these long scars. It looks almost as if his scalp has been sectioned off. All right. There's a ridge, like a flap sticking out. Yellow rectangle. It looks like the uh, whatever he's got going on is coming apart a little bit. It's coming off. It wasn't applied and blended very well. Okay, dude. That vein is pretty conveniently located. It could be the edge of a theatrical latex hairpiece. Well, I can tell this guy hates Obama because he's willing to write his own fairy tales about the man, but I'm not feeling that rage. It's a calm hatred. That's not what I'm looking for. The real hate is in the comments section. But his voice sounds very niggerish. He is a traitor. Execute him after his trial. Evidence is overwhelming. I'd love to get a good punch straight into Obama's face. He'd probably kick my ass because of his training and all, but man, it would be worth it. He's going straight to hell. You think the doubters are doubters? Ever see them in a swimsuit? Maybe he switched head plates with Gabrielle Giffords. Yeah, that's the kind of hate I'm looking for. I can learn from this. In fact, I already feel a little bit of reciprocal hate bubbling up. 
and I'm ready to spew. Yo, what's up, pussies? I'm the guy who put Obama together. LOL, I thought I did a good job, but you got me, man. Yeah, he's just some Taiwanese dude who we took off the street and wrapped a couple skin flaps over his face and bing bang bong, that's an Obama. God fucking damn it, I hate how stupid you people are. I'm tied to some dark shit, but at least I'm not a pathetic YouTube conspiracy theorist drawn over the president's face in MS Paint while people somehow even more mentally unhinged gather in the comment section like a leper colony for nut jobs who stop getting invited to their friends' parties because they can't shut the fuck up about Pizzagate. I could publish this entire comment section as a book called 218 Reasons to Nuke the South and make enough money to get my own Obama face surgery. Anyway, I'm a gay transsexual Muslim from Kenya who adopts babies for welfare checks, but yo, at the end of the day, I think it's cool that you guys are practicing free speech, so carry on, dudes. Good stuff and post shit. Good stuff. That's not hatred. If anything, that's acceptance. Well, maybe there's something about the essence of hate that I'm just not understanding here. I, I think maybe I jumped into this one a little too blind. Let's see if we can find out if there's something I'm missing. Let's figure out what is hate. Oh, good, and play. I believe hate is a, a lack of understanding. And I, I think that people hate and fear what they don't understand. We used to beat up white people, black people, anyone that wasn't one of us. Right, so people hate things they don't understand. Now I understand. What don't I understand? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Donald Trump. How does he still have a Twitter? How did he get elected? Why do people continue to defend him when he, even when he does stuff that's worth criticism? I hate it! And I hate him! And I'm gonna send him a fucking tweet! I'm gonna make so much money off your supporters, lol. Thanks for showing me how to do it, love you bro. And tweet! No! Oh. Love you? God damn it, that's not even close to hatred. You know what, guys? This lesson might have been a mistake. I, I might not be able to know how to hate. I might not hate anything. That might be uh, uh, possible. I mean, I can't hate the most hated man in America. By the way, buy our Trump Cruise posters now on the SalviEric.com store. Once we sell out of these, we're going to have another amazing pro-Trump poster immediately available. And I can't wait to show you what it is. It's going to be amazing. So great. But you got to buy all these first. Also, just know that if we have to ship any of these posters to New York City, we're required by state law to spray the poster tubes down with coyote piss so that none of the rats in your mailbox will eat them. There's a lot of rats in New York, and they eat mail. That's a real weird city. I don't understand it. It's loud. It's smelly. It's obnoxious. Every time you go to lunch, there's a bunch of people giving each other Hillary Clinton facts. I mean, who the fuck wants to live there? That place sucks. I fucking hate it. I hate it. I hate New York City. Oh my God. Wait, this whole time I've been looking for the hate in my heart. The thing I hate is New York City. I have to tell people. I have to let them know that I hate New York City. I gotta get this out of me. Let's go to Yelp. New York City is the Barack Obama of destinations and that it tricks millions of people into loving it only to make them suffer. Hell, the only difference is that New York was actually born in America. I hate this fucking city so much that I actually visit every now and then just to confirm that it still sucks more dick than a moil performing Matsitsa Pepe. You people wouldn't know a good city if it came up and groped you on the subway. New York is a filthy fucking dick pile of human garbage and literal garbage. Hey New York men, roll your fucking pant legs down and put on some socks if you're gonna wear those goddamn dress shoes. This isn't Saudi Arabia. You're not making any kind of statement by showing off your ankles unless the statement is I saw Chris Pine do this on Kimmel. You beanie wearing, bike messenger, professional iPhone photographer, black rim, glasses wearing, walking BuzzFeed demographics. And New York women, maybe you should talk a little bit louder in public because I don't think that guy in the back of the restaurant heard about the podcast that made you cry this morning. Followed by you fake wishing you could do something to make the world a better place even though you barely have your own shit figured out. But hey, don't worry because the world is a better place when compared to New York City except for Florida. New York smells like a dog that eats out of the dumpster behind a sushi restaurant has also never had its anal glands expressed. I'd rather run through a forest of used mystery needles than live in that colonized sinkhole and this is me putting it politely. In conclusion, you people like to anthropomorphize this city like it's some kind of stern but loving mother figure. In reality, New York is an old half-dead hairless cat caked in its own shit that vomits more than it eats. I hate you all, you're the reason Trump won, and I'm looking forward to your only rebuttals being Jay-Z lyrics. Pure hatred, salvia, over and out and now that I've opened up my vat of hatred I can feel it bleeding into all of my other opinions I'm suddenly realizing that I hate all kinds of things like cops yes I hate this stop talking don't hurt me stop 
talking. I can't wait to see their names on tombstones. May their lives be painful and short. Yeah, that's from the channel that uploaded this video. Until people start finding these cops off duty, this will continue to happen. Some cops need hanging on a meat hook. Not all, but some really do. The only good cop is a dead cop. All cops must die. All I can say to these cops is poop threat. Nice, good work, hate brothers. Feast on this. Yeah, fuck these corrupt assholes. I know what you're gonna say. Oh, they're, my, they're not all bad. Yeah, my dad's a cop. He's a great man. Well, your dad beats up black dudes and shoots dogs. Fuck cops and poster! <laughs> oh, I don't even care if that wasn't funny. That's not the point anymore. Don't you see the difference? <laughs> This is why we don't go to the Apple store. Hell yeah, I fucking hate this dumbass dongle company too. I'd rather shit an apple out my dick than get one of these ripoff trash bricks. I could scream into my boyfriend's asshole and still get better reception than the jambled together mess of wires on little Asian boy fingertips trapped inside these piece of shit government pro ripoff dickhead fuck boxes. Big hatred salvia over and out. Bye, I love you, and post. Oh shit, wait. Edit. Fuck you, and that's what I meant. Are you feeling it too? That feeling of pure hatred? I hope so, because this feels amazing. The Walking Dead returns this February, only on AMC. I thought this show was made in China for a while because of all the unregulated plastic filler material being used to produce it. The Walking Dead should win an Emmy for least amount of good episodes in a seven year run. Fuck you if you watch this show. I'm right, you're wrong, and hate! Who's next? Oh yeah, these Twitter sex robots. I really hate them. Look at all these Twitter sex robots. Where the fuck do they come from? I hate them! Analysis! Tell your maker that just because he's the loneliest man on earth doesn't mean anyone else is gonna fall for this shit and train it! You know what else I hate is how Hollywood censors its movies so that China doesn't get offended because apparently there's a lot of people over there and they buy movie tickets too. I didn't know where to leave that comment, so I just tweeted this to Ted Cruz! I wanna make a movie where you and Mao Zedong are boyfriends. I also hate you now and the fact that it's teaching children to rely on attention as a form of currency! Comment to kit. Dude, I dig your name. Hell yeah. Hey, F you, buddy. Yo, I'm chillin'. I said I dig your I dig your username, bro. Ah, God damn it, I hated that. You know what else I hate? Ted Cruz. Let's send him a tweet. Fuck you, fat nips, and tweet! But most of all, I hate myself. Hello, and welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette's brand new YouTube channel. This is the only channel solely dedicated to the betterment of how we treat each other online. You were supposed to be something and now all you have is a shitty YouTube channel where you shit post under the same formula for every video you dumb fat faggot. Nobody understands the true message you're trying to put across instead taking everything you say at face value and acting like your comments are where your wisdom is, ignoring the broader lesson at hand. You failed every mission of your life. Every breath you take is a sin against the hope you had as a child. You're a mistake. A mutation of something that was meant to succeed. You should close your eyes forever and build a better life inside your imagination where you might finally take a road that doesn't lead towards disappointment. You two bit eight years in the making piece of dog shit. I hate you good- <laughs> Oh hey everybody, welcome to my coma. <laughs> this isn't exactly how I expected to end 2016, but I did learn a little something about hate online, and that you shouldn't do it. It just hurts you. Sorry if that's a little on the nose, but uh, I did end up in a coma, so... That's the lesson. Good night. Let me check out what's back here. Have a gap. happy new year, guys. Uh, send help. I'll see you on the other side, everybody. Bye. Oh, there's wine back here. And a haircut. You will be hated for my name's sake, but he that endureth till the end will be saved. Amen. Do you feel hated sometimes? When we think of the clan as a whole and the minority community and just people in general uneducated about us, don't know anything about us. Obviously, they hate us. Sounds like Christ giving a message to us. That's right. Man.